Hello there and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stocker Gloss. How are you? Right, in our previous episode we travelled to Amsterdam and we upgraded our, our uh, truck. So I think we're ready to be um, to go on another little journey. So where are we? We're Amsterdam, where can we go? Um, where haven't we been? I think we've been to Poland, but we may not have been to... No, I don't think we've ever been to Zegzin. And that's a nice little payday there for us. Where else have we got? Metz, Strasbourg, Munich, Manchester, London, which we've been to. Swansea, Stuttgart. Yeah, I think we're going to go there. Now, what's the better trailer? Whole ship or RPG? Well, we'll go with the RPG. Medical supplies. There we go. So we're going to go to Sigjan. I apologise if I butchered that, but I can't pronounce it. So we'll set our GPS. And on we go. I've still got the uh, snow mod installed, as you guys can see. So uh, hopefully we can make it <laughs> make it there in one piece. Now, um, on the Facebook, a few of you left me uh, the Coca-Cola truck. Uh, mods which are great I downloaded every single one and uh, unfortunately I couldn't get it couldn't get them to uh, to work well the one did kind of work but it turned my Scania skin into um, into a coca-cola skin which I wasn't too pleased about missing around my skin so I uh, I don't think we've actually um, Oh, I'm making the curve there a little bit. Good start. And um, also, peeps, you noticed in, when I upgraded my truck at the beginning of the uh, uh, episode 18, 19, I think, episode 19, um, you notice I went for the high line, and, and that's the reason why uh, I ran out of money. So, uh, got to be careful of that. I didn't mean to check it. I think as soon as you upgrade the uh, the axles it automatically puts onto the high line or something like that anyway. But but yeah, so that's the reason why I ran out of money. But um, we've got 100, well, we're uh, in debt by 190 quid. I'm sure Joshua and Oscar is going to help us out this episode and get us back into the into the black. Well, they better add anyway. Otherwise they'll have me to answer to. Oh, it's one of these. Let's take it nice and wide. And we're going to hit the wall. It's tight, isn't it? Come on, forward. Let's go. Stop stalling. I don't know why he's doing that lately. Okay, so we are going to go to Shrinkzin. I'm going to take the job. And our trailer is ready. Proceed to the loading area. And there it is. Logistic excellence. Well, that, that's, that's us, you know, in a tin. We are the logistical master. We are the pro. Oh, bit of lag. Got trailer up. Let's have a look. Beautiful. So we've got the Highline cab now, I think. Uh, we've got two sexy. Yeah, we've got four sexy wheels and some horrible wheels. We've still got a nice skin. We've got all our lights working, which is great. And uh, and yeah, we've got no beacons, unfortunately. But we'll get some beacons, don't worry. Don't worry. Right, we've got half a tank of fuel. We may need to fill up because as uh, your comments have been saying that when you upgrade to the double axle or double chassis, you do lose a lot of your uh, fuel. And also I downgraded my engine from 400 odd brake to 320 brake, which I'm not happy about at all. But uh, We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll, we'll try and upgrade as soon as we can. 
Go, 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 go. Gotta be careful. Off. Just have to hold up the traffic until we get across. Oh, I suppose we can go. Yeah, we can. We're on our way, guys. We're on our way. I think we can do is. Oh, no, we're we'll staying in this lane. Coming up to some lights. I can't wait to get all the fairing. You know, like this dude here, he's got like a chrome tank and fairing. He looks really posh. We'll get there though. We'll get a decent sized engine. Oh, we just stored it, I think. Let's go. Okay. It's quite a big trailer, this. I think this is probably one of the biggest trailers, size-wise, that we actually carry. Oh, I don't want to speed. We'll get a ticket. But what an, an amazing uh, change it is to uh, to have a double axi or double chassis uh, truck. So much easier. But have you noticed? something guys I'm gonna share something with you the AI don't seem to use double chassis trucks they're all single oh, look at that dude over there they're all single oh, we're gonna turn left here on the A10 oh the good old A10 I remember the days back in the days when I used to go on the A10 Whoa, you flashing me there. Thank you very much. Oh, there are some nice people in Europe. In this game, I don't mean generally. Who flash and let me out. I was starting to get a little bit worried. Alright, let's get into the... I think this is the slow lane, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we are lacking the power. You can actually feel it not really giving me the power that I'm used to. I haven't got the power, Captain. So yeah, we could uh, do with upgrading our our engine fairly soon. But we've got no money, so we have to wait for that. So we're back on the A1. I think we've been on the A1 before. Smooth as a baby's bum. Absolutely fantastic the way we took that corner. I was expecting to go flying through the uh, through the fence over there. I actually seen uh, a few funny uploads onto my Facebook channel. Some of you guys taking uh, pictures of some uh, terrible situations that you've been to. And I like to say the AI was the cause of most of it. So it's not just me. The AI is against. It's against us all. It's trying to take over the world. There's a whole Tron thing going on. And uh, some of you guys might be a bit too young to understand that, but that was one of my favourite films when I was younger. And also, Flight of the Navigator. Can you remember that one? That's always shown at Christmas, that. I hope they show it again. You have to record that. So a little kid is in the spaceship, which is an alien spaceship, and they become friends. Well, I've pretty much spoiled the film for you, so if you haven't seen it, then uh, you don't need to see it now. <laughs> and The Hobbit, well, I am uh, would not do that, I promise. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't seen The Hobbit yet, which I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing soon. I've got to wait until my geeky friend um, watches it with his wife before uh, he'll watch it with me. So I, I feel always bad that I'm, I'm second to his wife, you know? Bros before hoes and all that jazz, but... He's a... Uh, He's my only geeky friend in real life who I do tend to do things like that with. My missus is um, a chick flick fan. So her sitting there for two hours watching The Hobbit is um, 
isn't really going to happen, unfortunately. But uh, I am looking forward to spending some time to the, at the cinema watching that. Cruising nicely at 52 miles an hour, peeps. It's uh, minus two, so it's fairly cold. Looks like we've got 373 miles in the tank, and we've got 428 miles to go, so we would definitely need to stop on the way. Even a bus is overtaking us here. Look at the acceleration that bus has got. Absolutely amazing. Take the mic. Oh well. I'll be looking at um, Omsi Bus Simulator as well, and um, I haven't got it just yet, but I will. I will do a showcase of it. I promise. There's a load of games that I will, I will do a showcase from. Um, but uh, my upload schedule, obviously, this farming simulator and uh, my new Minecraft LP. I'm going to be taking uh, precedence, but um, it's like anything, you know, if you play too much of a game, you do tend to get, not bored, but it doesn't become as exciting or as awesome it did when you first picked it up, so sometimes it's nice to have a little break and play a different game, so when that time comes, then uh, I will be doing some more showcasing, and also times. I think I uploaded times. I read a few comments and uh, they weren't very good <laughs> comments, but I enjoy playing it. So I am going to be showcasing more times later on, and I'm going to catch up with my carrier command series. So I've got loads to do, not enough time to do it unfortunately, but um, hopefully I'll get round to uh, to doing all that. And also in the new year, I'm going to be doing a few more live streams of uh, Deadliest Catch and. Uh, and things like that, so we've got loads to go up. Uh, thank you for all the uh, new Facebook um, friends. I've uh, I've got nearly a thousand people now on Facebook, which is uh, which is nuts, and it's great to talk to people from uh, all over the world. And it's uh, like I say, I do try to answer all most messages that you guys sent me but as you can appreciate it does get a bit nuts sometimes if I've got like sort of 20 people trying to talk to me um, yeah it could take me about 20 minutes to reply so uh, <laughs> right where are we oh we're going into oh I'm gonna say France but it probably isn't it's something else and you guys are gonna go no in it France um, let's check the map how do you check them up? Press M, of course. So it looks like we've got. Oh, Germany. Brus yeah, God, we're miles away from France, I think. Where's the French border? I think that's the. F no, that's Brussels. There is the French border. There's Germany, I think. And we're going right through into Poland. Okay, so we're in Germany. Didn't quite look the German flag, though. But, uh, whoa, whoa. but uh, yeah, we're. Uh, oh, I better turn my lights on, otherwise, I get fined. And it's snowy for Christmas. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to sing another Christmas carol. Although, immediately, once you say I'm not going to sing another Christmas carol, about four or five pop into your head. Immediately. Oh, you can't stay in this. No, we can't. Oh, I'm confused. Sorry, car behind me. It's alright. Look at the uh, look at the plate. I'm from England. That's my excuse. Hey, yeah, we're steaming along now, guys. Hey, full confidence in my jewel chassis axle thing. I'll tell you what as well, somebody um, when I asked about why um, truck drivers 
you know, if they have got a dual um, chassis truck, they tend to lift the middle wheel up. Um, great responses, thank you very much. Um, apparently, it's for um, traction. So when you're not, when they haven't got a heavy load on it, obviously they lift the wheel up because it does two things. Um, it stops the drag. Obviously, you know, more fuel efficient. Running on the on four, well, I suppose four wheels instead of six, and also to save the tyre wear. But they use that middle wheel when the load gets a bit heavy and they need more uh, more traction and stability. So there we go. Got the answers to that question. And I love it actually that a lot of people are saying, "Wow, Stocko, I didn't realise how hard this game is." I'm trying to talk to yourself and play this game. And uh, oh, I'm glad you appreciate you know the pro skills I need you know in order to show you guys these um, these videos. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised I didn't just come off the road there. Oh my God! I nearly cut that car up. Sorry. We'll be lonely this Christmas. Ah, oh, damn it! I said I wouldn't sing. Okay, I can't even see the road anymore. All right, I need to slow down a little bit. I'm going a bit, a bit fast here. Yeah? All right, gonna make our way to Onsbrook or Osbrook. Not this slip road. It's Yes, it is. This level. Oh! Ah! Oh my God! I can't believe I just done that. I thought I would have made it. Eight percent damage. Ah! Oh. Well, those pro skills just made me look stupid. I might edit that a little bit out. Hey, I'm talking about me now. My editing skills are like non existent. Damn it. Well, at least nobody was hurt. I'm glad I was wearing a seatbelt there because I would have gone through the windscreen. That was like a 50 mile an hour crash, that was. That was that was a big. I think that's probably the biggest crash I've ever had. Well, the one I did face palm the cab into the ground in a few episodes ago, that was, uh, that was pretty scary. Stupid sat nav. Oh well. I'll um. Oh, I got mail. It's probably to say that I. Oh, I got ten grand in the bank. Let's check that out. Okay, I got the window open. I think somebody's like pressing the horn or something. You know, you get those iron. You know, the people that come around for like scrap iron. I don't know if you get it in your country, but we get it here all the time. I think they're walking around. Okay, let's... Or not walking around, but driving around. The bank. Your account of drawn to be settled. We're happy to help you in the future if you ever need a rise. Just have a pleasant day. Your account manager. Bunk. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I don't know how we've um, we've got that money. Um, but uh, I'm not complaining. Obviously, you and all Joshua has done something. I don't know how we've got that money, but... If you've seen something pop up, then please let me know. While I was crashing, I might have had a a thing to tell me. Um, yeah, Joshua and Oscar just earned us nearly ten grand. Beautiful. Yeah. So back to the Coca-Cola mods. Oh my God! No. Dude, that was kind of your fault as well there, but 90% my fault. Um, God, what is wrong with me? Um, I can't believe I just done that again. I did take the corner a little bit too quick. But the other dude was going, you know, really quick around the corner as well. But he managed to stay on the road. I can't blame him, to be honest. It was all my fault. I'd love to blame the AI, but I just can't do it.
thing is, I've been trusting this truck a bit too much. You know, with the dual light, thinking, yeah, I could go around corners at 100 miles an hour, and no problem, no problem. And I, uh, I drifted it a little bit too wide on that corner and crunch. Bloody AI, AI is out to get me. No, that was all my fault. That's that's me talking about how pro I am at, at this game, and uh, it's just come to bite me in the bum. I'm scared now to go over 40 miles an hour. And I can't see the road. And it's minus three degrees. I bet my cab looks a right state. If there was cosmetic damage in this game. Oh, I'm sorry, peeps. But yeah, as I was saying, the Coca-Cola mod. Do not crash. Um, yeah, I can't seem to find a working one. I, I want this one for um, Euro Truck Simulator 1. Or just Euro Truck Simulator. There's one for there, but they haven't actually tweaked it to work in the uh, Euro Truck Sim 2. Which is a bit of a pain. But um, I'll keep searching. You guys keep sh searching and let me know. I want the I want the Coca-Cola mod with all the lights, you know? And we do a bit of a Christmas special. The actual uh, Coca-Cola lorry come to our uh, local Asda's. Which is like uh, the Walmart in America, I suppose. And um, it blocked all the traffic up in my area for, for hours. It was a nightmare. Just to see a truck. I don't know. People should have better things to do in their life. Well, I went to see it, and it was amazing. <laughs> Oh look, it's rain, just to top it off, you know? You crash twice in a video and it pours out of rain. See, I'll be really disappointed if I just got a speeding fine or something in this episode. But crashing twice... We're not going to actually make any money from this, because it's going to take ages... Well, it's going to cost us a lot of money to fix our cab up. And we're running out of petrol. I wonder if you can expand your fuel tanks, because uh, it's going to do my head and keep stopping for petrol like every run. can't even see the road, I'm just guessing where the road's going to be. Oh well, we've got 289 miles to go. We should be there in 7 hours, but I'm sure we're going to start getting tired soon just to uh, upset me further. Oh, and thank you for the comments to let me know about K, L, M and O, I think. To turn the lights on and off without having to go into the menu. I can't believe I've crashed twice in this episode. Really can't. See, if I, if I was a really good editor, I'd probably edit it out, but if you guys know me by now, it just isn't going to happen. I'm not very good at that. I'll have to keep it in now for all to see. Oh, well. You guys enjoy it when I crash. Right, let's overtake this slow coach. I think this is a three-lane road. Uh, we've got 200 miles in the tank, so we might be alright. We'll definitely stop at the next one. Hangover. We don't want a Hanover. Or a Hangover. Not until after Christmas. You guys see me play this with a Hangover and it isn't pretty. Engine malfunction. What? You can't just stop on a road. 
I have totally messed up my truck. I would be going nuts now if a, a lorry stopped on the middle lane on a motorway. Oh, here's the slow coach overtaking me just to uh, rub salt in the wound. Thanks, mate. Right, we need to visit a truck centre as soon as we get back to Schnick 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 Schnick. However, we pronounce the uh, place that we're going. Do you see that? The engine malfunctions and everything turned off and we just stopped. That's not a malfunction, that's like um like a massive, massive thing, isn't it? Like a malfunction is like, oh, you know, the uh, the lights won't, you know, switch on properly. You have to bang something for the lights to turn on. That's a bit of a malfunction. But everything just turning off and breaking on its own accord is um, is a major issue. I wonder how many times that's going to happen. So in a minute, we're going to be tired, or we'll be falling asleep. The truck is going to be falling asleep. We're just never ever going to get there, are we? Because of my incompetence driving. Oh well. Well, if we have to call a uh, recovery truck, then I think that's the only way we can uh, get our load there. Now, I noticed when we took our took the mission, the load was a, a fragile load. Now, I know we haven't actually hit the trailer. I'm sure that whatever's in the load, I think it was medical supplies, they are going to be flown everywhere. So I think we're going to fail the mission. We're going to have to uh, fix up our cab. And we're going to be back in the minus again. All because of me. Oh well. I wonder how Oscar and Joshua are getting on in this uh, snow with their single axis truck. Ha ha ha. Oh, we took that corner okay, so I was a bit worried about that corner, but... We seem to be gripping to the road fairly well. It's a nice straight drive, actually, to... Um Schneid, Schneid, Schneid. I'm going to try and pronounce it with one there. Sh, 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 sh,
Why we don't hold much fuel in this tanky at all, do we? Alright, let's go park up and rest. I'm sure we need to rest for the night. Let's park up behind this uh, car truck. E to stop the engine, enter to rest. There we go. Hopefully we'll uh Ooh. Beautiful. Nice and sunny day. Let's reverse it a little bit. Yeah, hopefully we'll um we'll be sober enough to drive. Oh, driver, Joshua. Couldn't oh yeah. Just when you need him to put his finger out and Get some money because their fuel and maintenance costs minus five hundred and seventy six pounds. Lovely Joshua and Oscar. If you and Zachary was here, they wouldn't do anything either. Hey, did you see my farming simulator video where you and tried to kill me with the uh, forager? I still haven't quite forgiven for that. to get in the middle lane. Okay, we're back on the road again. Yeah, we are a bit of a dysfunctional um, transport company with me heading it up. Um, I'm probably the only truck owner that's gone into a truck shop and said, uh, Oh yeah, just stick another axle on the back there. Make it a, a full chassis or full six by two or something. I, I don't know the technical term for it. And then, uh, yeah, what do you want to downgrade the engine to like 320 horsepower instead of the, the beast I've got in there at the moment? That don't make sense, does it? Well, that car is going fairly quick, isn't it? Now, I can already see the road, so I'm hoping I'm going in between the lines here. Because these tracked lines, markings that you can see, um, they're not that accurate. But they seem to be at the moment. So I shall have to buy that. Four hours to go, 166 miles. We got 728 miles in the tank. It's minus one at the moment, it's just a bit warmer. I can't imagine uh, it being warmer as we get to, you know, hotter as we get to Poland. Because Poland isn't a million miles away from Russia. I know Russia have a, a pretty cold winter. I don't, I don't know the, too much about the uh, geographical weather conditions of most countries but um, in the James Bond films which you know we all know is true the uh, the weather in Russia seems pretty cold and that's the kind of guy I am I take the weather f from a country by what it's like in James Bond no I'm sure it's lovely in Russia Lovely and warm. So like Hawaii. Whoa, slow down, Stocko. Come on. Nope. Don't know what that was. Well, we're at Eaton Road at the moment. We're um, 57 miles an hour. Let's slow. Let's slow down. Come on. Let's not. Let's not go daft. We all know what happens when I go, go a little bit daft. We still haven't carried any cars yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. Let's speed up a little bit if we can. And touch wood, we won't have another engine malfunction or little blip, as the game wants to call it, um, until we get to uh, Zeg. Zegshin. Um, I 
Yeah, somebody left a comment saying they love the way I pronounce the uh, the Dutch names. I thought Amsterdam is the same as how you guys pronounce it in the Netherlands. I'm sure I've heard uh, some Dutch people called Amsterdam, Amsterdam. Maybe not so much with the R, but that's just my accent. I tend to uh, prolong the R in pretty much everything. Um, so when you say butter, you can really hear it, or scissors, or, you know, that's when it becomes a problem. And if you ever say butter, scissors, then it's, uh, it's a real telltale sign about, you know, from where I'm from. Alright, looks like we're joining another motorway. Other than that, it's been a fairly st you know, straight run. Uneventful, apart from the two massive crashes that we had, and the massive engine malfunction. But apart from that, it's been fairly, um, fairly quiet. Um, still not seeing uh, the sign for Zegshin, yeah, Poland. Still seeing signs of Berlin. I don't know, have we been on the autobahn yet? I don't know. Because I might even like whack it up to like 57 miles an hour when we're on the autobahn. Just for fun. Just go a bit crazy. Oh, we're on the 10. We're on the number 10. Blue 10. I, I, I don't know how to... Um, just take the 10. Turn left at the 6. Uh, go along the 3 a little bit. Then you reach the 11. And then turn off at 7. Is that how you guys like direct each other? Road-wise? Or do you go blue 10, red 3... Uh, pink nine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. To be honest, it's Christmas. Who cares? Ah, happy Christmas! Right, we're getting in this lane. So we're coming off red ten or ten or motorway ten. We're on our way to Stetton or Sterling. I missed the sign. Asphalt. Oh, we've been to Asphalt before, haven't we? Yes, I remember Arsfart. Well, that's a pretty little sign, isn't it? On that, uh, on that truck. Where are we? Bob, Bob, Bolgy, Borgy Johnson in Hamburg. Okay, I guess that's a real truck trailer thingy. Like I say, the um, I've got two trailer mods or real truck name mods on my uh, on this game. So you'll probably see a lot that you don't know, a lot of European ones, but you'll also see a lot of um, uh, English trailers as well. I think what it does is it must like randomise what the trailers are going to be. So I have a list of uh, trailer mods, and then it just goes right. Uh, okay, that one, uh, that one. So, which is quite nice. It gives us some more variety in the game. And then in real life, if I do see a Bon Bonji Johnson trailer, I'll be like, "Wow, I seen that on my game." Hey, cool. Although it might be like the Eddie Stobart of Hamburg. I don't know. It could be really, really popular. Um, still can't see. Zerk, Zerk, Zerkshin as yet unless it says on this side uh, no, Stettin sounds like a, a medicine asphalt 
Is Asphalt like German for like exit or is it Asphalt? I think it's a place, isn't it? It's got to be a place. If it was the sign for exit, Asphalt, exit. That's brilliant. What's that, a man truck, is it? I think it is. Oh, he's faster than me. And he's letting people like what well, you you've got right away there, sir. It was a Renault, I think. Bloody AI is out to get me. Let's get back in this lane. So about an hour and a half away, fifty four miles. We got five hundred is that six hundred and ten yeah, six hundred miles in the tank. Yeah, we're gonna be filling that quite a lot. I wonder if you can get like a, an extra large capacity fuel tank for this thing, because it's going to be a bit of a pain otherwise. But I prefer the stability, you know, like since we've had this, we've only crashed a few times <laughs> this episode. No, but you, it definitely is a lot better on the roads than uh, without it, so I definitely prefer the uh, the the extra axle chassis whatever it is 6x2, 4x2, 2x2 and I think I forgot to show you my controller settings in the last video um, so I might do that quickly now otherwise I will forget again so let's go to Options Gameplay No Keyboard No Controls Yay! So keyboard plus Xbox 360 for Windows controller So you just select that at the top And then basically do your sensitivity uh, Force feedback Make sure it goes you know back to centre every time but this is pretty much how you prefer it. I can't tell you how to do all that. But, um, but yeah. So go into that that one there. Controls. Keyboard plus Xbox 360 controller. That's what I got. Okay. Oh, we're on uh, blue 11. Or 11. Motorway. Mostly coming up near Hagenstead because that's the uh, the wind farm that we're going to be building hopefully soon. We're saving up money at the moment. When I say wind farm, I'll probably only end up buying the one because they're like 1.4 million each. Lovely. I think we're still in Germany at the moment. We haven't actually crossed into Poland, I don't think. I could be wrong. Uh, straight on. As yeah, I'm sure Asphalt is exit. Because um, there's been a sign for Asphalt quite a lot recently. So as long as, that, as long as you see Ausfahrt, you know you're in Germany. And that means exit, I'm pretty sure. No, am I actually on the road? No, I'm not. That's better. Well, we don't need to stop. We don't need fuel. So we're just going to burn straight on. Unless we have an engine malfunction. Oh, it looks like the border, border into Poland. Yep, Germany. European flag, Poland, European flag. Lovely. So we'll we stop seeing um, Arsfart and we'll start uh, seeing another word for exit, I'm sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, okay, I'm not being funny, but where's like my nine grand that I had gone? 
Whoa. Okay, let's slow, slow it down. Oh, we're in um, Zeg, 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 Yeah, basically that, that email is from the bank manager saying, um, you suck and you owe me money. Where's that money got? We must have had a, a loan instalment or something. What was it? Best West Best Western Hotel. That was pretty cool. We get them in the UK. Alright, we're going straight over the roundabout. I'm probably in the wrong lane. Well, hopefully we get enough money just so we can fix our truck because um, I can't have that malfunctioning on us uh, all the time. Stay green, stay green. It takes me a while to get going. Stay green. Do not change. Thank you. Oh, income. 530. That's not good enough, Joshua. Not good enough at all. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. Okay, we we better, better, better make more money. Job completed. Hey, we got good work. I was expecting it to be. Uh, you suck. Medical supplies delivered from Amsterdam to Zegersin. Zig 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 ah. Driven distance 485 miles, and um, we're just under a level level 12. Uh, we've got 22 grand, so that's put us well in the black. That's brilliant. We are damaged 11%, so we're gonna have to sort that out on our next episode. But um, well, let's check our email. We've got two emails now. Your account is overdrawn. We withdrew more money from your account than was available. We have provided you with a short-term credit for the next few days, free of charge. Other accounts we settled are happy to help you. All right, that's going to get really boring really quick. Keep getting letters off our bank manager. Anyway, my name is Stocker Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Happy Christmas, and I wish you all a very, very good new year. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Ciao for now.